hi so we are going to continue our new tutorial on date and time so we will learn how you can use date and time modules in Ruby so first thing we are going to do is call IRB this should open Ruby console now we will use require date after that we are going to call require time now you see if it shows you true that means these both modules are imported by IRB now what we have to do is we'll create some simple date Let's just create object for date and as you can see the date we have here is scripted and you don't understand what exactly is being printed here right so as you can see you can't make sense of this and for that we'll just extract to a string and see what it prints put as date dot 2s as you can see it is going to extract the first string that we have here is minus 471211 and then returning nil now let's see if we can bring it to our current date let's type something like uh, Okay, now let's put it into string again. Okay, so there was error while typing date, so just discard it for a moment. Okay, so it is showing us the date. Okay, so let's head over to Ruby documentation and see how we can format our date. So click on your browser go to ruby.doc.org then check your ruby version and specifically open date and time for that okay so here you can see if you want to make use of date for let's say in your own countries format like say month first date later and then year or some people use day first of that month and after that year so let's see if we can use that so this is what we are trying to use strf time and then we are going to use percentage day percentage m percentage y this should do the job you can also use colon in between if you're doing it for time if you want to do it for let's say date then you have to make sure that you are using single quote I think double quote should do as well so okay so one more thing to watch here is there is no semicolon that enter as you can see we have here month day and year so that is pretty much how it should format same is the case with time in case of time just 
type t is equal to time new or you can make use of specific function here like say well print the time for after some specific month where we have Friday or Tuesday so that is also possible you can find such specific way to find out that with the help of calendars time zones and do a lot of stuff with this date and time okay so for now I suggest just starting with this for t's go to time new let's say 2014 and type to date it should do you can see the time will be printed put less d dot to s okay so we have here the date but not time so let's see how we can do that in case of time you have to just watch out for passing the time first thing is you have to set it the way we have set here sorry this one okay this one uh, you have created that object and also called for the specific day Okay. So once you figure out what you want to do, you'll be able to find specific method to do the rest of the formatting. We have method here for leap year, which is interesting and worth checking out if you want to play with this date and time module. So let's check out something like the dot uh, day. See, it is showing is fourth day because we have set up our time for that. The dot uh, Sunday. Sorry, that was a bit mistake. Okay, so. That is pretty much what I wanted to show you. That if you want to check for a particular day, type date dot Friday and then question mark, hit enter. True. Same for some other date dot April. Okay, so that is wrong. We have to check for method. Okay, so if you want to check for the month type date dot month and it should show you here also if you want to check for the year type date dot year okay so it is showing 2015 if you notice that this is the month and day and year that we have entered into this and it should show you how exactly we can modify the current date and then manipulate it the way we want so like this there are plenty of things you can do I suggest checking out RubyDocs library and when you go there check for these methods also you have some examples that you can check but I suggest coming up with a simple small project here of your own so that you can do some your own explore 
battery program okay so i hope that helps and i will see you later